Hi everybody, it's Mikkel Moose, and today I am going to be trying to make a dress of an old pillowcase. I found this at a garage sale. I thought the pattern was pretty and thought maybe I could do something really fun with it. Now you don't have to use a pillowcase, you can use any fabric you want really. This is a really stiff fabric, just so you guys know there's no like stretch to it. Uh, what else you're going to need is a sewing machine or a needle and thread, uh, a doll, You'll also need scissors, measuring tape, um, some buttons or Velcro if you can actually not lose Velcro constantly like I do. Um, yeah, that's right. I lost my Velcro again. Sad story. Alright, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a two-part dress. It's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to do kind of a skirt that uh, flares and then just a top. And then I was thinking um, just some small spaghetti strap. So first things first is... I am going to find the seam on the pillowcase and I'm going to cut it. Alright, so I've now turned a pillowcase into one giant piece of fabric. Yay! Alright, so I'm going to set that aside for a second. I'm going to take my lovely model Elsa here and I'm going to start by making, I'm going to start the, the waist piece, the skirt. And I'm going to take my measuring tape here and I'm going to wrap it around her waist and her waist is 11 inches and because I want the skirt to be really big and flowy I think I'm going to double that up and make it 22 inches of fabric so the length of 22 inches so I'm going to make it 22 inches uh, around and then, because I want this to be kind of a spring, summery, kind of fun, flowy dress, I am going to make it go to her knees. So I'm measuring from where I want the waist to be, which is where her waist is. And then down on her leg. So I want it to be at about six inches, but because we do need some wiggle room for seam allowances and whatnot, I'm going to add, oh, I'm going to be on the safe side and do eight. So I'm going to cut a 22 by 8 inch square out of my fabric. When I'm cutting out the fabric, I want to be kind of trying to focus on getting wrong side, more of this floral pattern because that's what I liked about this. So I'm going to be trying to get the floral pattern more into the skirt. Alright, so we're ready to move on to the next step. I've got the uh, strip of fabric here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold over one edge and I'm just going to hem it um, pretty much fold over the edge. I'm going to try and stick to like a quarter inch probably and then just hem that and then at the top I'm not going to hem it but I am going to do a gathering stitch all the way across. Somebody came to say hi. We're just going to pretend there's not a cat right here. So I've finished sewing the bottom hem. Let's see it there. And then I've got the gathering stitch up at the top. And a tip for you when making a gathering stitch, leave a lot of excess string on both sides to make it easier um, for when you're pulling. And so now, yeah, now we are just going to pull on the string and just kind of gather up the fabric on the front. And we're going to try to get it to probably about 12 inches uh, once it's all gathered. So I'm going to do that now. Right, so now I've gotten the gathering all down at the top, and it's about 11, 12, in, or 12, 13 inches up at the top here. Um, and it doesn't look like much right now, but it'll look cute when we're done, I swear. Hmm. Alright, so the next step is to get the cat down. The next step is to make the top. And for that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the largest part of the doll's chest um, and measure that. Which actually comes to 11 inches. So we'll cut uh, 12 inches by... Oh, 12 inches by 5. And you might want to make it a little bit bigger, like maybe 13 by 5. 
Once again, I'm going to pick a spot on the fabric that I think is nice and has a nice pattern. And I'm just going to cut that out. Cut her all over now. Thank you, Moose. I appreciate your efforts to help decorate. Okay, so I've got, I did 12 by 6. I'm just going to wrap it around the doll just to kind of make sure that everything looks good. It is a little bit tight in the back, so I'm going to tell you guys to do, oh, stop it. I'm going to tell you guys to do a 12 by, or a 6 by 13, or you could probably, this is really long, so you guys could probably just do 5, like we originally planned on doing, but I, this, I, this definitely will work. It's just a little close for my liking. So, what I'm going to do now is figure out what side's the top. I think I like this as the top, so I'm going to fold that over, and I'm going to sew it straight across. So I went ahead and I did the top seam, and I also did the uh, side seams here, and I tried to make them like as tiny as possible so I didn't lose any more fabric. And I still think I can make it work. It might be really tight, but... So anyway, I'm going to take this skirt piece that has a piece of... Uh, there we go. And I'm going to wrap it around her waist and just kind of... And I'm going to adjust it so we've got... So I make sure I didn't gather it too much. So that way we know we can actually make this skirt close. And see, I've got a, probably an overlap about two inches there. And I think that's plenty. Now what we're going to do is take the unsewn edge. Oh, it's going to quit it somewhere else. And the sewn edge of this. And we're going to go good side to good side. So that way when we flip it open, we have a beautiful seam to look at. And I'm going to center this right. Your tail is... She's mad at me. Um, so we're going to center this. And it's. Can you even see what I'm doing? Probably not. So I'm going to line this up on my table so the top is straight. So you're just going to have to kind of tuck in the folds and whatnot so it'll lay there so the top is straight. And then you're going to lay a good side to good side. Oh, and I will have some extra fabric hanging over just a tiny bit on the skirt. So but you can kind of see I've got probably about a half an inch on each side of the skirt. And that's okay because that's going to be the seam allowance on this or when we sew the skirt together. But I'm just going to sew these two pieces together. Then I'll set the gathering stitch and also attach the top to it. Alright, and so it's sewed together. See we've got that extra fabric on the side here. And I did kind of try it on my doll and it is way too tall in the front. When I put it on her and it falls underneath her arms, it's like a full ball gown. And that's not exactly what I was uh, looking to do. So, what I'm going to do is modify it a little bit, um, but we'll get to the modifications in just a moment. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to fold the dress good side to good side, and then I'm just going to sew the skirt portion, or the bottom portion, together, um, and those little pieces that are extra kind of sticking out, I'm going to sew those, and um, that way when we put the dress on the doll, this top portion is all that needs to be closed. So. so I have sewn that bottom piece on and now I can pull it up over the doll and the bottom's already attached down here. And so now we need to get into the modifications to make this dress. Do is I'm going to cut this piece. I'm going to find, make sure it's center in the back. So where that seam is I want it to be smack dab in the middle of her back and then I'm going to kind of hold it up up to her neck here. We're going to leave that alone and then right here where her seam is uh, for her arm I'm going to make a little cut. I'm going to go down about an inch once I get it off the doll. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side making sure to pull nice and tight Make a little nip so I know where I need to cut. Sorry, I just realized you guys couldn't see anything I was doing, so I just kind of readjusted. 
Um, and I also realized there was something kind of blocking the uh, bottom of the screen, so I'm sorry about that. Alright, well anyway, so I made those two little notches. Now I'm just going to cut down. Like I said, about an inch. Make sure it's even. You don't want one side deeper than the other. Now is I'm going to fold this piece over and just hem this right here. And we're going to pretend that never existed. And then I'm going to go over to this side and I'm just going to fold it and make a little hem over there. So that side is all nice and clean and I'm going to do the same thing over. Okay, so I finished, got my doll, I finished uh, doing all the fold over and stuff. So I've got some extra fabrics. Not extra. I do have extra fabrics. Why can't I speak? I got extra fabric hanging out here, so I'm just going to cut that uh, a little closer to where the seam is. And we're going to put it on our doll again and see what we've got going on. See how this turned out so far. Right, so now we've got this. It's now at the waist kind of where I wanted it to be. I really do like how it bunches up in the front, but unfortunately, the back. But lesson learned. Can add more fabric for next time so that way it's a little bit more flowy. Now I've already gone ahead and kind of started the next step. I thought originally I was going to do a spaghetti strap, but I decided against that. What I did was I took a corner of the fabric uh, here and then I folded the edges in like so. And then I just sewed this line here, and we end up with a nice thick strap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew this strap in, and it only looks like I need just a little bit. So this little piece here. All right, my battery's about to die, so I started working ahead while I let it charge for just a few minutes. Ugh. Um, okay, so I already went and put this the sleeve or the strap on um, and I just sewed it on the inside and that way you don't see the extra fabric and I just tried to match up with the existing seam as much as possible so now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and you don't want the strap to be super tight because you do want it to be relatively easy to get the doll's dress on and off um, and once I finished getting the other strap on I am going to put the buttons on, and I think I'm going to do two buttons. Um, and if you have Velcro, like I said earlier, use it. I just have the uh, horrible habit of losing Velcro, and I don't even know why. Like, I told myself I wouldn't lose it this time, and I was like, I'll put it here so I don't lose it. And, yeah, I lost it. <laughs> Alright, so I finished. I put on the other um, strap and I put some buttons on the back. I only did two buttons and they're like these little pretty pearlescent buttons. Um, and it was very tight up top, but I did make it work. Um, and so here is the final product. And you know, it didn't turn out exactly as I expected, but um, lessons learned. So I think next time I make a dress similar to this one, uh, it will be a lot better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it, um, some ideas, or um, just some entertainment. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can like me on Facebook and uh, share with me your projects because I love seeing what you guys are doing. Uh, it's just Mikel Moose, same way it's spelled here. Um, and thank you so much. You can subscribe, you can like, you can comment. I like hearing from you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye.